Hey YouTube fans, welcome to my channel. This is Darlene and I'm doing a reading today for my Scorpio peeps. I am a Scorpio as you know probably if you've read my about information and wait one second I'm trying to get my stool situated here and it's not cooperating. Um, that's better. Thank you and I want to also apologize if you hear any background noise we're getting ready to have some storms here and uh, there tornado warnings and all that out so hopefully that won't uh, go off while we're in the middle of this reading but today um, I just decided to take a break I usually do deceased loved ones readings and it was just I just needed to do something different today so I thought I'd see what my Scorpios are got going on and for those of you who like my readings I would very much appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe I'm just getting started here on YouTube so all that really really matters for my channel thank you so much okay gang let's get started here because I want to I went ahead and shuffled these decks because again I, I know there's I'm concerned that the weather's going to move in and I might not that's thunder you're hearing out there might not get this done so trying to make this quicker anyway all right enough chit chat let's get on with it so I've got a deck here that's for your divine masculine, the person you're dealing with. Masculine does not mean gender. It just means who has the essence of the divine masculine uh, in the relationship. So um, this is for your person, and then this Scorpio is for you. And I'm going to run through this deck real quick, and let's see what's going on here for your person. Okay, let's see. Um... All right, so your person is telling me there's something they want to communicate and communicate fast. There's some kind of news that they want to talk to you about. Apparently, um, they feel left out in the cold or very likely they left you out in the cold and they want to talk to you about that. Uh, looks like they either feel like this is a risk coming toward you to talk to you about this or they want to start something new with you. Let's get on down into the cards. Yes, very likely they want to tell you what they want to tell you is that they want to start something with you. They want to give you uh, an offer, a solid offer of some kind. I don't know what that's going to look like, but <clears throat> I think they're afraid they're going to get met with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is not the most warm, fuzzy queen. Could be that something they did has put you on guard, very, very likely. But they do see you as they're not a cup. They're uh, wishes being fulfilled. All right, but they want to find balance with you, or there was not balance in the past, and this is what they want to talk to you about. But uh, Six of Pentacles is about uh, seeking balance. Uh, yeah, there has been confusion, there is confusion, there was confusion in this relationship. Maybe somebody had too many options and that's another part. Maybe that's what this imbalance card of this, this rather Six of Pentacles, which can also be imbalance, means they had too many options. And by the way, on these two decks today, I'm not reading any reversals. I'm just going toward and feeling and sensing the energy that the card's telling me. So this card is, although it's about balance, and yes, they do want to seek balance with you, because it's followed by the Seven of Cups, I feel like that was part of what was out of balance, was there was too much confusion. There were prob probably uh, options that they were exploring. And yeah, <laughs> right behind that. Um, temperance is, it's an angel seeking to find balance. So they want to find balance. This is also about patience. And so they're hoping that you're going to be patient with them so that they can bring in this passionate new beginning with you. They've had an epiphany. They've had an awakening, uh, an aha, about this love for you, that they do love you, um, that they want to work on this relationship. They may have been checking in on you, checking up on you. If you're not talking to this person, they could have been trying to, you know, check you on social media, all that kind of thing. But basically, this card means we need to talk. And so, again, reiterating, they, they're coming to talk. What are they coming to talk about? They want to tell you that they love you. Um, this Ace of Cups is an offer of love. And they want to tell you, uh, talk to you about this Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is... Um, 
uh, lying and cheating and deceit and can also be no that's the energy that I'm getting off this card today that they have been up in their head worried about this they don't know what to do they feel like they are uh, this is a um, a self-imposed mental prison because they realize they put themselves in this position and they've been learning a lot they have that part of what they've learned is that this this energy has been very slow moving maybe that was part of the problem here that this person was too slow yeah that they disappointed you in love and uh here's the card two of pentacles juggling not knowing what to do too many balls in the air yep and too many balls in the air with who his queen because i see you because we started out with the masculine here and you're the feminine that's just again it's not about gender it's just how I have to set an intention to read the cards. <clears throat> and I believe this Queen of Cups is representing you over here, Scorpio, that they love you. And I think what happened here was they might have been juggling you very possibly. And now they're looking back. This is divine timing. And so they're feeling like maybe the maybe they're feeling rather that the timing is right now where it wasn't before they're also looking at the seeds that they've planting and hoping that they have not been wasted that the time and energy has not been wasted um, because they feel like this cycle may be over with you that this is the end of the cycle and they want to start they want to um, I'm get too many cards here they want to um turn things around with you this can also be the karma and they're hoping that their karma is not such that you want that you will make a different choice with them because again <clears throat> they love you but they also know that the choices they made some choice or maybe multiple choices that they made have caused remorse and they are remorseful for how they um, have behaved apparently that this possibly these choices have set you free maybe you went off and decided to be single and free to pursue or possibly this choice that they made because the lover's card is also the choice it was originally called the choice so there's some choice that has caused remorse and and it could be that um, this person needed to get single and that was what caused the uh, the remorse <clears throat> excuse me there are things or have been things he and I say he again just because that's such a it's not gender please <laughs> he your person is saying that there are things that have not been seen that um, that have been hidden that are not uh, visible and yes more um, secrets withheld and now they're also telling me that they're afraid not only have there been secrets that have been held withheld from you but now they're 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 afraid of that and they're afraid that this is over ten of swords is an ending because yeah because of the knight of wands because the, the energy i'm getting from this particular knight of wands is it's they were playing around they were in and out they weren't committing they were you know one minute they're here one minute they're they're gone and I feel like you pulled away or they're saying because because this is where they were the energy they were in that they pulled away from you but somebody here has really pulled away and gone within their this is the hermit card gone within the cave um, to reflect hopefully and come out better on the other side someone has been trying to manifest uh, this can also be I'm also feeling some manipulation here that the perhaps that your person uh, was manipulating you and that's what caused you to pull back very possibly here yeah because they either one of you or both of you have pulled back and are trying to heal now heal from what heal from these toxic whatever this toxicity is that has been caused in this relationship and your person is I'm, I'm seeing because this particular I just love the artist depiction in this deck this is the light seer deck you know I feel again I kept feeling with this magician card that this was manipulation coming off of this not manifesting so much as manipulation 
coming off of that. And that's the energy I also feel about this devil. I think this person was trying to manipulate you or did man manipulate you in the past. It's also the card of, of course, obsession, addictions. It can be um, about restrictions. And so maybe they were being restricted by something toxic that has held them back. Yeah, they, they were held back. They couldn't, uh, they could not invest in this. There was never a solid foundation. Um, it seems like they were always looking, they weren't, I, I'm struck by the fact that she's looking out, not, you know, at me or not at, she's like always looking out and it's giving me the energy of, I think this person was always looking for maybe other ships to come in. Maybe their wishes were in that ship offshore, not with you, not focused on you. But now, um, the judgment card can be, <laughs> it can be karma. It, it absolutely can be karma t for me as a reader, but it can also be a reconciliation, a reawakening, rebirth. So I think that's what they're hoping for with you. Yes, they're hoping that they can move to, to calmer waters. They're hoping that you have not moved on, that you have not, um, chosen a different one but they're also telling me that now they are making a choice because she is not looking back at this one at all she's clearly made her choice of this one and she's looking forward they've had a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety over this situation um yes because they needed to tell the truth and now the truth is known <clears throat> and the truth that's known is that they're missing you. They have missed you. They are feeling nostalgic about you, thinking about the past and what you had together. And now this Knight of Pentacles wants to bring, uh, wants to bring something, wants to bring you a solid offer. But I think they're fearing that you're, you're feeling defensive. This is also the wounded warrior. So I think your person feels like a wounded warrior. Maybe they've done this before. Maybe this is not the first time. And, and you know, they're, they're thinking they may have to fight for this still. But I feel like their fear is you are going to be defensive about this. Um, so they're trying to, I think they're trying to buck themselves up, you know, pump themselves up to, to be the emperor. But the emperor can also be ego and pride. And I think they're realizing that that was part of the problem here in this relationship, that there was too much ego and pride. And then that has, that aspect has been illuminated by the sun. And it's telling me that this emperor has realized where his son, where his happiness is, and that he's at a crossroads. He can no longer continue to be indecisive, and he's got, uh, he, he's, I'm sorry, I'm hearing the noise, and it's just the rain starting more. Um, so he's realizing that he has to have courage to move forward, a brave new adventure here. He's trying to get the courage to move forward before you walk away, if you haven't already, and maybe you have. <clears throat> he's afraid that you're going to walk away, and if you did, you've caused this tower, and if you, if you haven't done it yet, this is his fear, that um, your person's fear, rather, that you're going to walk away, and if and uh, if you do, that will cause a tower moment, sudden change. Um, basically, the tower blows everything up, but it blows everything up so that it can be built back again on a stronger foundation. So if that has happened, that's what they're hoping for. They want to come in and bring you this cup of love. <clears throat> Excuse me. They want to fight for this relationship now. Um, they're praying it's not over. They're hoping it's not ending because they want a rebirth here. They want to transform this relationship. They want to show you that they are dependable, that you can count on them, uh, that they're willing to invest in you. They want to communicate now. They're ready to communicate these things to you. They see you as being someone who is dependable, who is worthy of investing in. They know that they broke your heart. They know that you were devastated. Uh, yeah, that this king, they know they broke, they know they broke your this king essentially broke your heart he was the cause of this because you loved him also in another layer you love them so much unlike the queen of cups who gives her cup fully and unconditionally the king of cups holds back he's you know he doesn't he's very selective and sometimes personally um has a personal agenda about when and whom he gives his cup to so they realize that um, that that's what they did to you 
but I feel like now he's ready to give his cup. That's what I'm feeling for this. He's ready to give his cup because he sees now that you are his, his um, wish being, you are his wish fulfillment. And this is also um, hoping and wishing. And so I think they're hoping for this new, exciting new adventure. They're very attracted to you. They're hoping, um, <clears throat> they're very attracted to you, but I hear a but here. But sometimes the queen and the king of wands can have be people that wear a mask. And I think that's what, what they're telling you is that's they're afraid that that's how you see them, that they wore a mask in the past. And that's part of the reason why you're not wanting to, uh, you're, they're afraid you're moving away from this relationship. But they do see you. They want this four of wands. This is a happily ever after, marriage, happiness, children, the, you know, the white picket fence. They want that with you. And they want to see a victory in this relationship. They've gone within. They've had an awakening. They've had an epiphany. And they're... Um, they're ready to commit. They're, they're ready to go the traditional route. Again, this King of Wands can be... He's not the Knight of... Uh, the Excuse me, the... Yeah, the Knight of Wands, who's the player card. But he also is not one to commit. He's not like the King of Pentacles who's solid and committed and, you know, is married and dedicated and devoted. So I think that you... Uh, he's afraid that you're going to look at him in this light but he's also telling me but he is so very passionate and you have awakened a passion and a strength he's hoping to again this is the lion from the strength card he's hoping to rely on this king's energy this king's sense of adventure <clears throat> to come in and capture your heart capture who the empress the empress is all the four queens she is you know the top female or feminine essence in the tarot. She is fertile. She is beautiful. She is wealthy and has a beautiful heart. She's all the things that this person sees you as, as being. They're ready to put down this heavy, heavy burden of this toxic journey, because that's what I want to call that, the toxic journey. They're ready to put down their, the ten wands is the end of that struggle. They're trying to be strong. They they know that your heart might be closed. Uh, they don't know. They can't see that. They this locket. To, uh, you know, when I'm drawn to the locket, it tells me either it's open or they're in this case that this because this is your person. I think their their heart is open. They're afraid yours is not. They want to celebrate with you. They're really hoping that they can <clears throat> bring this union together and have justice and balance these scales. And it's interesting, I, I told you in the beginning, I have no reversals in this deck right now, and, and yet the hangman in reverse. They've gotten a new perspective. They're done being stuck. They're ready to come out of the hangman position. I'm going to turn that around so it's not good. They're ready to, uh, that implies to me they're ready to make a move, to go after their happy, happy um, their prosperity, their ten of pentacles, their happily family uh and, and their, ten, their cups of love, ten, cup, ten cups and ten pentacles right back to back together. They see you as they're happily ever after. They're hoping there won't be conflict, but I think they're prepared for it. They're, they're bracing themselves that there will be uh, potential conflict. And also that there may have been competition in the past and a third energy. They're... They're also bracing themselves that they may have to compete for you with somebody. There may be competition for you at this point if y'all have not been speaking. They want to bring in their cup of love, <clears throat> but I love this card because in this one, there's this pig with wings in the corner up here. And they're saying, I pray to goodness when pigs fly that this, this can happen. I can make this happen. They want to come in fast. Um, their horses now are pointing in the same direction. No more division. They... they um, They don't want to let go of you. Yeah, that's the energy. I had to just check on that energy there. Um, yeah, they don't want to let. They don't want to let you go. They're up I'm in. Sure the, I oh, sorry, that's Siri. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Um, they don't want to let you go, and they're so up in their head about how best to come to you. They're not sure how to come to you, but they definitely want to come to you and at least talk to you and have a conversation with you. 
Ooh, okay, that's some stuff right there, y'all. All right, now for your energy, let's see what's going on with you. <clears throat> well, this is a beautiful way to start your deck. Ace of Pentacles, all right, so this is a solid new offer, something monetary perhaps, something tangible in the 3D world coming, coming at you. Or maybe this is just where your focus is right now. Maybe you're focused on money here. <coughs> Pardon me. And because of all this that was going on with your person over here, maybe you've decided that this is what you're going to uh, focus your time and energy on now. Yes, you've been healing. You've been taking time out to meditate and recharge and heal after all of this that you feel you're either at a crossroads or you were at a crossroads with this person and now you're looking you know you, you felt like you've been blinded in the past that there were that there were or is <clears throat> um, too many things that were confusing you. you you have been in a state of confusion for some time i i feel like this might still be in play for you scorpio I, i'm not feeling that you're done with this i think you're still <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, y'all. <clears throat> I feel like you still don't have clarity, really, on what to do. I think you're getting there. I think this King of Swords is, maybe this is a new person that's coming in to help you get that clarity. That could well be that maybe in the past you've been confused, and now this you've got somebody new coming in who's going to bring you clarity. That could well be. Yes, because you consider yourself... Uh, single and free to pursue. This is the Nine of Pentacles, which is the minor arcana version of the Empress. She doesn't need anyone to take care of her. She can take care of herself. She, her money is straight. Her money is right. Um, she's strong. She's independent. <clears throat> um, you know, she could be an entrepreneur. She could have her own business. She takes care of herself. You can feel... <laughs> You can feel your own cup of love. And it's interesting because I was reading, uh, this is a new deck that I just got and I was reading because every artist has a little different interpretation in every deck about, you know, there's a baseline energy of these cards and then every deck has a little nuance. And in this one, you can see there's a fish in the cup. And, and the book talk to, that came with this deck was talking about this particular interpretation was that this page of swords has a sense of humor but at themselves more than yeah in general so I think you're it's telling me because I'm drawn to the fish in the cup that you have um, you're getting I almost said you've gotten so maybe some of you have some of you are not there yet you're getting to the point where you can look at all this with a, with a lighter heart and a, and a sense of humor and probably have learned a lot from it. Yeah, and maybe you still love this person. That, that could be you certainly did love them. I don't know if you still do, but you certainly did love them. Uh, and this is, golly, this artist is just so incredible that he painted these. Um, well, they were paintings before they were cards. <laughs> this particular Three of Cups is, to me, about indulgence. It can be over-drinking, it can be overthinking, it can be uh, meaning there's a third party, too many cups in the mix here, and so that very well may be what happened over here with your person, and I think you're saying, yeah, I, um, I thought this was love, but it ended up being more too much of a good thing, or, you know, could be um, maybe... Too much of a good thing can be toxic, right? Yeah, you were disappointed by this. You were very disappointed by this. Um, in fact, you, you're hurting. You have deep remorse and re even regret. You're questioning if you should have gone there at all. But at the same time, and this is that confusion energy I was picking up on. At the same time, you miss this person. You're nostalgic. You're thinking back on them. You're thinking about the good times you had, the sweetness of it when it was good. But at the same time now, we're going back and forth, back and forth. At the same time, you know who you are. You know your worth now. You know that you can take care of yourself, that you're your own best provider, that you're also a good nurturer. And you're looking for a new beginning. Now, whether this is a new beginning with your person over here or a new beginning in something else, this could be, it's a passionate new beginning 
that I feel you're looking toward. Could be with someone new, could be maybe you've decided to focus on your work and, uh, and not think about love right now. But your focus now is you're trying to focus on something new and, and it could well be that uh, because you've got, I mean, you know, you started out with this Ace of Pentacles, so, and then you had pretty quickly into the deck a King of Swords, so could be you're manifesting somebody new here that you're going to feel passionate about. <clears throat> yeah, and if that's the case, then, this, you know, this is making plans. Yes, Two of Wands can be about a choice, but also it's about making plans for the future. What do I want to do? Do I want to take this path and pick up this one? Or do I want to pick up this one over here? How do I want my, free, my future to look? I want my future to be happy. I want to come together with someone who will uh, be equal give and take. Who will um, give me a solid foundation, a happy home. Uh, we'll have joy together. You know, maybe you were hoping because this can also, the four of wands can also be the twin flame card. Maybe that's what you were looking for. Maybe you thought this person was, or maybe you still think this person was uh, your, your twin flame, your soulmate. But there was apparently a lot of competition, conflict around uh, that you had to deal with um, or are still dealing with. But I feel like you're taking a time out now. This, on this deck, you notice the hangman is correctly in the upright position. So it means taking a time out to get a new perspective. I'm, I'm taking a minute to, to really, because I'm getting a couple of energies off of this. It, it's telling me you're taking time out to get a perspective. Now it could be there's, there's you know, lots of you watching this. Some of you are taking out time to, to get a new perspective about this emperor who was your person, who represents your person over here. Some of you are getting a new perspective to look forward toward having an emperor. And some of you, a third group of you, saying, no, I don't need anybody else. I, I'm my own emperor. I don't need anybody. I am my own emperor. I can take care of myself. I can rule my own country. Thank you very much. <clears throat> that I can... Um, I can find my own connection to to God, Spirit, the universe, and um, I can take the traditional path if that is what I choose. And the traditional path often is choosing love, but choosing, yeah, that, I just feel like this is somebody choosing love, but they're choosing a love that is balanced. That's the energy that's coming off of this this card. This is so beautiful. Let me look at that real yeah that's just up uh, yep and you're moving forward so i think what this is telling me is you're choosing you now i'm not saying you're not choosing another person to love i'm just saying what you're finally i think what you're learning from this or have learned <coughs> excuse me again <coughs> pardon me is that the choice you need to make is to put you first put your heart in the health of your heart first and then you can extend it to another person but you're moving forward in your life I don't think you're waiting on this person most of you anyway are not waiting on this person anymore I think you're moving forward yeah you're finding here we go that's card of balance you're deciding who you will give yourself to who you will give your heart to and who you won't <clears throat> you are finding what works for you and what what it takes to find balance in your life. You have to gift you're giving yourself. You're being strong to pursue this. And you're ready to put an end to a cycle that doesn't serve you. Where there's put an end to a cycle where there is no balance. Because your heart has been broken. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful deck. Um, yeah, your heart has been broken. I'm presuming by this person back here. Your, your person has broken your heart here. Um, but at the same time, I'm feeling two energies here. They, they broke your heart because of something that was said. I'm also feeling another group of you 
they broke your heart, but you'd still like to talk to them. Maybe you didn't get closure. Maybe you'd like to have that conversation with them. You'd like to know why. You'd like to ask them, why couldn't we make this go? Why couldn't we come together, invest, and, and grow something together? Um, you're up in your head about it. So again, we're back to that back and forth pull and push energy that I was feeling. You're um, feeling very up in your head about this. Again, self-imposed mental prison there on that card yeah and you too are losing sleep you know it in some ways you're very much mirroring each other whether you're talking or not but you're having anxiety and losing sleep over this as well <laughs> you're holding back at the same time I feel that same energy again mirroring I felt over here where but you don't really want to let it go some of you don't want to let your person go you're holding on to the hope that they may come back. Some of you are saying, nope, this is my money, my future, my foundation, and I'm not sharing it with anybody. So you, you'll know who you are. <clears throat> okay, so for the group of you that are holding on to this person in your heart, you're afraid that they're walking away. I, I get the feeling that y'all haven't talked to each other, so you're afraid that they're walking away. To the other group of you, you're saying, no, no, this is me uh, holding my money, not sharing it with anybody, and, and I'm walking away from this toxic situation over here. I'm walking to something better. I'm working on me now. I'm working on what I do well and <clears throat> focusing on my skills and my money, and I'm starting over here. I am taking a risk on me. I'm starting over. Or for some of you who are still waiting on this person, Maybe you're hoping that this person will come back and work on this relationship to start a new beginning, to have a new beginning with you. You're trying to manifest a new beginning. What, whichever group this, you know, you have to apply it. But all of you are trying to manifest this new beginning, this full. You're tired of this other empress. Yeah, and there you are. I, I consider y'all the, the empresses in this reading. There you are. You've got everything you need. That's the confidence. You've got confidence. You're nurturing. You've got all you know, the money you need. You, you know, you are your own ruler, your empress here. You have everything you need. You know your worth. Say that again. You know your worth. That's right. You can fill your own cups. You can, this is wish, excuse me, wish fulfillment. You know that you can fill your own cups, that you don't need anyone else, that you have hopes and dreams of your own. And yes, you have some fears, but you know there are things that you can't see. But <clears throat> yeah, you, you know that along the way you will have fears that come up. But you also know <clears throat> that you're strong enough that spirit will illuminate, illuminate what you need to see. So you're trying to have faith here because this represents fear and I think you're trying the sun is coming out to show you to illuminate those things that were in the past that you were afraid of or illuminate things that were not seen maybe they maybe what it's saying is they are illuminating what this toxic situation was over here and now all that was hidden is now been illuminated and revealed and that's probably what caused this tower moment the towers means again everything blows up so that it can uh, be recreated in one way or another. Towers are not always bad. <clears throat> it can be a good tower. A tower can be you meet a new soulmate. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. My mouth is so dry and I don't have any water. Um, so it could be you experience this tower because of this was going on. It could be you're ready to drop the hammer and this creates a tower for this person because, you know, that's how we read that one also. Um, it could just be that that's what happened and now you're ready. You're ready to move on. Again, for two groups of you, judgment is rebirth, reawakening, can be reconciliation. So for those of you who experienced this tower as your person leaving or you're, you're hoping that there can be a reconciliation, if not, you're just rebirthing yourself, honestly. You've said, no, that person can deal with their own karma over there. I am ready. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to 
be sure that I invest in a king of cups who will give me their full cup of love, not just when they select to, but when I need it as well. Yeah, and there is a bullet going. You know that was down there. Yeah, they. You want somebody to give the full cup of love to you. You know your self worth again. You know what you deserve. Yes, you deserve to have the whole enchilada, the whole ten of pentacles. This is you know again happily ever after. It's your money's good. Everything that you want. You know that you can do that for yourself, but you're also not willing to settle for someone who's not, if, if you're wanting someone else, who's not willing to give that to you. You're tired of this wounded warrior battle. You're ready. You're, you know, you're also, you're tired of this battle. You're also ready to defend your position, to defend yourself should someone come in with a half-baked apology or offer. Yep. Ten of Wands, end of the journey, putting these burdens down. You are so ready. You are so exhausted from this journey. I feel that energy. I do. I feel y'all. Uh, so you are ready to put those wands down and say goodbye to that toxic energy. Yeah, you're ready to... <clears throat> Again, this is... Uh, Five of Swords is winning at all cost. It's sometimes winning from a point of ego... So I'm going to caution you not to do that. But I think what you're, what this card is telling me is someone over here was willing to win at all costs. Or maybe this person, if they come back in, are willing to win at all costs. On, on your side, though, because these are your cards, <clears throat> I feel like that's your feeling about that person. That they were willing to win at all costs. And instead, I just got swords in the back. I got this, you know, I just, it was nothing but... Um, ego on their part you're also telling me that but maybe i need in order to get past this for me to have the strength to fight this you know get that last wand and because i've got a wall up here to be able to put these wands down um I, there may be some competition there may be um some conflict Within myself, though, I'm feeling like, yes, it could be this person, but it feels like it's also within you. Yes, that, that, thank you, Spirit. But so that you can take yourself and move to calmer waters here. You can't take that when you get to this new land, this new nirvana over here that you're heading toward in this boat, you cannot take those swords with you. And I think that's what you're fighting. Yes, you're trying. This is divine timing, the wheel of fortune coming at you. <clears throat> that's what you're focusing on now. I think you're focusing on turning things around in your own life. Oh, yeah, so that you can, again, so that you can balance the scales in your life. You're no longer depending on anybody else to do this for you. This is you and your power here. You're planting seeds that you know. If you plant that seed, you know it's going to be a stalk of corn. You know it's going to be, some, you know what it is. You're deciding you can plant your own seeds so that when that divine coming, divine timing, excuse me, comes into play, you will know what you're getting. I like that. You're willing to... <clears throat> Yeah, this is a sense of adventure. You're willing to um, start a new journey to have that sense of adventure. You're willing to, um, and I think this might be fast. This might be very fast and exciting, passionate new beginning. Um, yeah, now, I don't get the same energy from this Queen of Wands that I did to, with this Queen of Wands. To me, especially with the cards preceding it, you're ready to take, to start an exciting new journey that's passionate. You know... Because she is, she is, that, that, she's smoking hot. Look at that red velvet or satin dress she's got on, whatever that is. Satin, I guess it is. Um, she knows, again, she knows her worth. She knows she's passionate. And people are passionate about her. She's beautiful. She's um, maybe an entrepreneur. Um, she's very, very skilled also. She, so, again, that's about, I think, self-worth. It's taking you a while. It's taking you a long time to learn your self-worth. This is, the Page of Pentacles can be um, about learning, learning and education. And I think this has been a spiritual learning for you. Yeah. 
and so there may be something coming in for you this night can be bringing you an offer but again two groups of you but for those of you who are not looking for that i think this is telling me <clears throat> you know what i've got control of it my own pinnacle i'm just gonna this horse is not running he's just kind of standing slowly moving he's taking his time i realize i'm in a field of flowers i realize i have my own pinnacle i'm in no hurry here i don't need to draw my sword i can take care of myself and take my time to get myself where i need to be yes because i'm either going to wait on a king of pinnacles or I'm becoming my own king of pentacles here. I'm Again, I'm producing my own wealth. I have lots of good money here. Or I'm going to wait on a king, not a page or a knight, to be my partner. <clears throat> I can go within, or I have gone within, to take stock, to connect with the divine, to find inspiration. I can now look at my life in a new perspective. I have the bird's eye view of what has happened and where I am now and hopefully where I need to go. That, that clarity is coming. Yes, I know that I need to put an end to toxic people, places, or things in my life. I need to transform things in my life and I'm being very patient with myself. Temperance is the card of um, being patient. It's about taking two different things fire and water and pouring them together and and i don't know if you can see this on the card there is a, a a plant a seed like with little tiny flowers there and so it takes it takes sunlight and it takes water for a plant to grow for something to grow to be nurtured and i think that's what you're saying i'm pouring into my own cup now um or if someone comes to me, they have to be willing to nurture this and to give to this because I'm no longer tolerating this um, toxic behavior or also it, for some of you, it's to, you're ready to find balance. You're not going to tolerate anyone who comes to you in a toxic energy anymore. And also you are finding uh, and discovering what the, your own toxic behavior has been here. You are, you know, it's like, like a, I said, it's a journey of self-discovery. I think that you have discovered a lot about why you were okay with this person and what they did to you. <clears throat> and because of that, I think you're much more ready now to accept um, this night of cups or a love offer or maybe you're just again you're back to that i just feel there's two distinct groups of you some of you are filling your own cup here um you know cups are water emotions feelings and he looks very he's moving forward you know but he doesn't look like he's in a huge hurry but he's i don't know i just feel like the energy coming off of this is he's confident and there's a lot of peace that's, uh, that I'm feeling here from this night. So if this is someone coming to you, bringing their cup, they're saying, that's how you need to come to me because I know my value. I am the queen of cups. <clears throat> I give my cup fully, unconditionally. I know my value here. And I love this. Again, this artist was incredible. These are, appear to me to be lotus flowers. And if you know anything about lotus flowers, they come from the murkiest, muddiest, grimiest water. And they emerge and they turn into the most incredible flowers you've ever seen. And I feel like that's the story here. Because of what you've been through, you came from this mess, from this murky water down here. That's what you had to go through to get here to hold this cup and now you're saying this is my cup of love and I will give it because I know now how to love I have learned lessons I have paid my dues so to speak here in the past yes I know what my ten of cups looks like I know what my my um, 
what kind of partner I want, what my happily ever after. I, I know I'm clear now about what I want and what I don't want. And what I don't want is in and out behavior. I don't want someone who's going to, I mean, if he wants, if he's an entrepreneur coming to me, that's good. But I can also be my own entrepreneur. So if he comes to me, yes, he comes to me in passion, but he's also got to come to me <clears throat> with truth, yes with truth and truthful communication. Birds represent uh, communication. So this is Archangel Michael, sword of truth, yes. So if you've got someone coming to you, they are coming to you with truth. Um, but I do feel like you may have somebody coming in here, Knight of Swords. I don't know if it's this person over here or someone new or maybe both. But I think you're wiser now. <clears throat> I think you are the high priestess and now you can see, you're listening to your intuition. You can see the things that are unseen here. Maybe that you missed before. Perhaps there were red flags before that you didn't acknowledge. <clears throat> and now I think you see, you, you are ready to see the, um, see with clarity what is there now and not look through rose colored glasses. <clears throat> um, yeah, you're, you're really looking forward now. I think that you're doing your best. For those of you that are still hoping this person comes in, I encourage you, if you want them, leave the door open, but don't sit there and wait on them, okay? Because they can feel that energy, and they'll be much more attracted to you if you are getting on with your life. You're looking at these ships coming into the harbor. Those are your ships. You've got treasures on those ships and you know they're coming in. This can also be a uh, divine timing. It can be someone <clears throat> foreign or different than your usual person uh, that can be coming to you. You're ready to stand and fight. You're ready to stand your ground about who you are and what you will accept into your life. Yeah, and I think you've got communication coming in. This is fast forward movement also. You're shooting those in the air. You're, you're volleying these or sh shooting these arrows, these wands in this case, saying, yeah, I know when I communicate, I know I'm telling the truth. I know what I want, and I'm going to, going to um, be upfront about that because I want victory. This is triumph after a very long victory. And back to that Queen of Pentacles, she has paid her dues. And I believe, yes, you have paid your dues. You have suffered heartache and loss and deep, deep hurt with each and every one of these swords. And you're, this is the end though, Scorpio. You're at the end of this journey. That's what this is saying here. You're at the end of this juggling. You're at the end of indecision and overwhelm. A feeling overwhelmed there are those ships sitting out there yeah you're ready to to look at um, having truth and peace and clarity and I think this the energy from this card is yeah the Queen of Swords she doesn't take any crap okay but she's she's like if you come to her she just wants you to come to her with truth don't come to me with pittance don't come to me with uh, you know excuses come to me strong and come to me truthful or otherwise you will be left out in the cold like this person left me out in the cold that's why i'm sorry that was just a little footnote on that message there or i will leave you out in the cold because i will no longer tolerate people who do not see my worth who cheat and lie and i also will not i also the truth that I accept is that in some cases, I am responsible because of my own self-sabotage that I put myself out into the cold and I am now owning that truth that I am in charge of my own destiny and I know my own self-worth. Wow, wow, that's all I can say is wow. <laughs> okay guys, that was a much longer uh, reading video than I thought it would be, but you know your situation uh, make your own decisions of course don't wait on anybody you know you can create your own happiness here happiness is an inside job so i suggest that's where you start 
And again, guys, if you like my readings, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm very grateful. I value your time very, very much. I know we're all busy, busy people. And I wish you all many, many blessings. Good luck with the situation and with your new ventures. Take care. Bye-bye.